Get to know about the latest events at Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines in its mission of communicating the good news of Jesus Christ on air, online, and on the ground. Here is Dan Andrew Kura for The President's Report. 74 years. It's really amazing how the Lord brought us this far. And for that, our hearts are overflowing with praise and thanksgiving. In line with our theme, Matatag na Pananalig, or Strengthened in the Faith, let's look back at our history and see how the Lord's movement, His incredible work in bringing one vision to reality. I'm your friend, Dan Andrew. Do join us as we celebrate FEBC's 74th anniversary here on The President's Report. FEBC was founded on two principles, to obey God and have compassion for people who didn't know Christ. This is the essence of the Great Commission, to which there is no turning back. As FEBC founder Bob Bowman once said, Bob Bowman was a gospel singer and host of a radio program called The Haven of Rest, heard daily by thousands of people across the United States. His friend, Pastor William Roberts, also hosted a daily radio program called The Family Bible Hour. As a soldier during the Second World War, their friend John Broger realized the potential of radio for evangelism, seeing how fighter pilots could fly in zero visibility, relying entirely on a landing officer's instruction over the radio. These experiences prepared their hearts for the vision God has planted, broadcasting the gospel in the Far East. When the war ended, the three friends met up to plan and pray fervently for this endeavor. On December 1945, Far East Broadcasting Company was officially incorporated as a non-profit, non-stock organization as the first step towards the vision. Originally, FEBC wanted to set up a radio network in China, but found doors closing on them. On July 1946, John Broger sailed to the Philippines, which readily welcomed the idea of a Christian radio station. Through countless miraculous ways, God provided all the needs to begin the radio ministry. The franchise, funds, land, the antenna, the transmitters, and manpower. So, on August 1946, Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines was established in the Philippines as the first religious radio station and the third radio station in the country. At exactly 6 p.m., on June 4, 1948 this time, the first station, KZAS, Airwaves of Salvation, now known as 702 DZAS, Agapay ng Sambayanan, successfully went on air, opening its maiden broadcast with the triumphant song, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. With the help of missionaries and volunteers, FEBC constructed and brought portable missionary radios to remote tribal villages. The PM radios became their daily source of God's teaching and influence as a huge shift from their old traditions. Now, six years later, on June 1, 1954, FEBC launched its second station, Manila's fine music station, DZFE-FM, now known as the Master's Touch, in response to the government's call to provide a classical music service. Over the years, FEBC opened more stations in other provinces and launched its music ministry, Papuri, to propagate original Filipino gospel music. Today, FEBC Philippines operates 13 local radio stations in key cities across the country bringing the gospel message to more people groups in their own heart language. Not only that, 
FEBC also transmits radio programs in over 40 languages through two shortwave transmitting sites located in Bukawi Bulacan and Iba Sambales to reach China and Southeast Asia. In 2012, the changing urban landscape and the advancement in communications technology led us to relocate our headquarters and studios from the FEBC compound in Valenzuela, which has been its home for 64 years. Now time really flies. It's been a decade since we moved to Ortiga Center here in Pasig City. During this time, FEBC ventured to reach a wider audience through the internet. Aside from streaming our programs over internet radio, Facebook, and YouTube, FEBC also launched many online initiatives to minister to our OFWs, the youth, and other sectors. At the same time, FEBC stations strengthened their partnerships with local government agencies and like-minded groups to bring public service closer to the communities, especially in a time of crisis like this COVID-19 pandemic. And that's why today we are communicating Christ on air, online, and on the ground. Reflecting over our journey so far, we thank God for how He has brought this vision into reality. We believe that when God plants seeds of faith, he also supplies everything it needs to take root and grow strong. And so we thank you, our dear listeners and our partners, for your trust, prayers, and continued commitment to help us in our radio ministry. Your faithful support helped keep our red light on and enable us to communicate Christ in more ways than we could have ever done before. To all our staff and volunteers, from old and new. Wow, thank you so much for your dedication to serve the Lord through FEBC Philippines and reach more people with the love of Jesus Christ. So much has been accomplished in 74 years, and we look forward to accomplishing more as long as the Lord allows. As we draw closer to another milestone year, 75 years, we reaffirm our commitment to our broadcast values. First, to deliver the gospel with authenticity, authority, accuracy, and clarity, and a relevance that is rooted in God's Word. Second, to broadcast the message primarily using radio and new media that is appropriate and effective in reaching those who haven't heard the gospel. And third, to ensure that the gospel broadcast will always be available with a consistent, high quality and clarity of sound. Fourth, to produce programs which consistently bear our message and values. And fifthly, to use our field of work to be a good Christian witness, whether on air or in non-broadcast activities. On behalf of the management and staff, of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, together with our board. This is Dan Andrew, your dear friend, wishing you all a happy 74th anniversary, thanking you for being part of our FEBC family. As we continue to communicate Christ in our world, on air, online, and on the ground, we declare with confidence, now to Him who was able to do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine, according to His power that is at work within us. To Him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. You've just heard the President's Report. If you would like to support the work of Far East Broadcasting Company Philippines, please visit our website, donatenow.febc.ph or email us at info at for your questions or suggestions.